the rights that the husband has over his wife. Yes, right? yes, we went over all of the... Uh, so maybe the Sheikh could touch, I mean, obviously, you know, to go into great detail, but maybe you could touch on the, on the opposite side of, of, the, of the coin, okay. as they say. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala al-mab'uuthi rahmatan lil'alameen, nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Jazakumullah khair for having me, and uh, it's always uh, nice to be back on Huda TV. Um, they say it takes two to tango. Islamically, it has to be through the nasheed, and it has to be with your wife. But it's true, you cannot do it on your own. So we always focus on the things that matter to us most. And this causes imbalance in a marriage. As a husband, I go to my wife and I say, you have to obey me, you have to do this, you have to do that. And neglect what I have to do. So I always take care of my rights and neglect my obligations. And this is why we have lots of divorces, we have lots of trub trouble. That's why a lot of the women complain about their husbands because they're not being given their rights. And the Prophet ﷺ told us exactly what to do and what not to do. And he was a role model. So any fair person who would go and look at how the Prophet ﷺ used to deal with his wives and follow his footsteps, he's in the clear. What are the rights of the wife over a husband? The basic rights, and this is the bare minimum, is that you feed her, is that you clothe her, is that you provide her with the shelter, is that you take care of her religious duties and protect her and preserve her from anything that can harm her. Which means, unlike what a lot of the brothers do, you do not force her to work. And I've seen this personally. When the husband sits back home playing with his PlayStation or Xbox, and he lives off benefits, of course, and he, uh, from a, a Catholic government, huh? He lives off the benefit and he bashes the government day and night. Oh, not just that. And he usually has two or three wives in the same, you know, the same thing. Unannounced. Who are all, who are all uh, unannounced and they're all claiming that their husbands have left them. As so we touched upon that in the whole polygamy thing, that they claim that the husbands have left them and they have to go and claim that they're a single mother. My husband's done a, done a runner, as they say. Well, he, like you said, well, he just goes from house to house on his Xbox. And, and then he forces the wife to work. Not only that to give him alimony, to pay for the rent, to pay for the school, to pay for the groceries. And this is totally against Islam. And when it comes from someone who claims to be practicing, this is an insult to the Muslims, to Islam, and to everything that we know of. So the basic rights for a woman is to be the queen of the house. She is the one who served. She is the one who is given money and being protected and it's the man's job to work his backside uh, uh, off trying to make a living and trying to uh, uh, provide for her. Among the basic rights, now I'm not talking about what uh, is the top, I'm talking about the bare minimum. He is not to strike her, to beat her. It's not permissible for him. He's not even permitted to insult her or to say that your face is as ugly as a monkey's uh, 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 face or whatever. Like a lot of people say, this is totally prohibited in Islam. But people are not doing this. They keep on insulting their wives when it comes to beauty, look how fat you are, look how ugly you are, you're untidy. And this is against the Prophet's teachings. He told us not to do this. And he told us not to abandon a wife in the house. So if I'm having a fight with my wife, a disagreement, I don't like her response to me, her argument, her nagging, so I leave the house for a week. This is totally prohibited. It's, it's not a hotel that you come whenever you wish. This is your house, this is your family, you're obliged to come and sit, even if you don't like it. Be a man, act like a man, and talk your things over. So these are the basic rights. Of course, you build up from there, 
upwards and you add to that kindness, generosity, courage, um, looking the other way, which is one of the things that the Muslims must implement in, in their lives if they want to have a good marriage. Not only that, if they want to have good relationship with others. It's called in Arabic, التغافل. And it is the top of moral conduct and uh, uh, excellent uh, uh, character, which is literally looking the other way. She said something. She did something. Look the other way. Pretend you did not see it. Not because you cannot react or respond, but because you have a good character. And people make mistakes and you look the other way, pretending nothing happened. Huda TV's social media sites are the best way to contact us from anywhere around the world. Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and